I chose the Dead Grey Partridge uh, by Jacopo de Babari. When I first saw the drawing, uh, I had a digital image of it, and uh, I wasn't aware of the fact that it was actually watercolour uh, and uh, line. Um, the drawing itself was quite a surprise when I saw it in the in the in the actual flesh, so to speak, because uh, there was a very slight hint of bluish tinge to it in the, in the colour, which was obviously the uh, watercolour. Um, but it's very small, uh, a very compact drawing, very detailed drawing. Because I very rarely get that opportunity to sit down and have, you know, concentrated time to actually look and study things like that. So it, it was a real pleasure to uh, have time out of a normally busy day to sit down and do something quite different, but something I actually enjoy doing. Drawing is, uh, is a great um, interest of mine. I, I, I sort of made a decision that um, what I wanted to do was try and work in the same scale, so, so work very closely to the, to the same size, size that it was, it was drawn at, because I felt that was part of its sort of objective beauty. Normally, if I was drawing, I'd be drawing from things that I could see. And that was quite interesting because the way I looked at the drawing was very much from the point of view that it became an object rather than drawing the object that had been drawn. Copying enables a very focused, um, intensive uh, looking activity. Um, but I saw the drawing, you know, not so much as the artist drawing an object because I couldn't see the object. I was looking very much at the the drawing as an object in itself. So I became very seduced by the, um, the, the British Museum marks and the, and, the, and the sort of the names and things on the bottom. Um, but I then started noticing the way that the surface of the paper had sort of taken on a, a sort of an aged quality and I started drawing that as well. So it became very much a translation of the drawing as an object. Does copying play a place in the teaching of drawing today? Um, it's a difficult one because I think the way that we approach drawing within the design faculty is that it's very much embedded in the process of design. I think this exercise is quite interesting and, and I must admit that you know, I'm, I was quite sceptical about you know, perhaps that question, you know, asking students to copy from other people's work because it hadn't been part of my practice. But having gone through the process and learned something about it for myself, I think it would be something that, you know, it, it would be really interesting for students to do, but I think it would also be quite interesting to sort of, um, it's the evaluation process that I guess I've gone through. It, I think that it's not so much the drawing process itself, it's the analysis of what they might get from it. And I think in that, in that sense, it's a, it's a very valuable exercise for students to engage in because they may see, as I did, the drawing as object, but they may also focus on things like mark making, for example, and the expressive qualities and begin to learn something about the difficult nature of things. Because when I was drawing the partridge, I started to realise that although there was this incredibly fine detail, a lot of it was incredibly fine mark making, which is very difficult in a controlled sense to duplicate. So there's an awful lot that can be learned from this exercise. So yes, I, 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 would, I would actually see that students could gain great value from this, but I also think there's something about the fact that it would almost need to occur in the museum itself, because there's something about the ambience um, that makes the experience even more intensive and enjoyable. Because it's there and it's been presented to you to draw, um, it's, it's somewhat more intimate. You, I mean, I found through the whole process that you begin to build a strange kind of relationship with the drawing, and perhaps there's a sort of distant relationship with the, with the person who was drawing it before, the object, that is. Um, but certainly I think, you know, working in that environment is... It, it, there's something about being in that place, being quietly able to focus and being very close to something that is quite precious. I think, you know, there was a sense of excitement even before 
I, I walked into the drawing room and a, a sense of anticipation and when you're there that adds to the whole ambience of uh, how one even might approach uh, the process of, of drawing from drawing.